One of the ways you work with more brands outside of the obvious, which is get views, have quality mm -hmm. content, have an influence, is get noticed That's by right. brands. I found working with brands, there's just so much opportunity there. My wife and I, we've been doing this for 10 years. Literally, a majority of our income is with brands because there's just so much money in this space. Yeah. What would you say has been like the best of practices that have helped you have success? And do you have any examples? Yeah, I think there's several. Um, the first one I would say, if you watch, like if you're trying to get started and you're watching all the YouTube guru channels that are teaching you, how many other people are watching those channels? Some of these channels get a lot of views, right? Yeah. Well, if 100,000 people are taking the same advice, then I'm just one of 100,000. Doesn't mean it's bad advice, but I would say take the advice and then put your own spin. If everybody's zig zigzagging the same way and then you do the opposite, everyone's going to know, who's that guy? What's he doing? What's she doing, right? She's, do she's not doing the same thing as everyone else. You want to get noticed. You don't want to be the same as everyone else. So... Always try to put your own spin on things. And don't just take advice at face value and then, okay, they said do this with the thumbnail. I'm going to do this with a thumbnail. I'm going to do this with a title. I'm just, no, just change it up a little bit so you can stand out. That's number one. That's an e the easiest way to get noticed and stand out. Yeah. If you're 100,000 people wearing a white sweater and you're wearing a black sweater, you're going to get noticed, <laughs> yes. right? doesn't matter. From there, one reason brands like to work with me is because they feel comfortable with me. Yeah. I'm not like... Even with like the flashy shirts, at the end of the day, my personality is not like a flashy personality. I try to be very matter of fact, very down to earth. Um, I know what I'm talking about with my niche. Um, you may call me a tech expert, but I don't try to be, I don't try to come across as an expert. I just try to come across like I know what I'm talking about. So brands feel safe. I'm a brand safe person. And that's also by design. Yeah. I it's something I thought about. What makes a major corporation who have so many lawyers and they're, every major corporation is scared. They're all scared. Yeah. They don't want a scandal. They don't want to work with you. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, next month you're doing something crazy on YouTube yeah. that goes against their brand. Yeah. Even if your brand deal's done, now they've associated yeah. themselves with you, right? So be brand safe. Yes. Think about that. And finally, I don't see brands as brands. Yeah. I see a brand as a person. And what I mean by that is I'm a person, right? Someone gives me their business card at Apple. Apple's like the holy grail for a lot of tech people. Like, I want to get in with Apple. Well, you don't want to get in with Apple. You want to get in with, like, Rob yes. at Apple, right? You get in with, getting in with Rob is a lot easier and a lot easier on your mind than I need to get in with Apple, this mega corporation. And so, you know, one thing I do, for example, every holiday season is I send holiday cards to all oh. the people at brands that I've worked with the past year. Just say, hey, thanks for working with me this year. Looking forward to 2020, whatever it might be. Maybe I'll throw a little like gift card in there or something yeah. to order some Starbucks or whatever. Send that off. Do that with like 20 to 30 people. Next time they have a campaign that's going to come up, I'm going to be on their mind yeah. because, oh, Andrew, that nice guy that sent us something and he was really good when we worked with him. And like, I don't just see brand deals as a one time thing. I see it as we're starting a relationship. And in any relationship, right, it's yeah. a two way street, as they say. I also, a lot of the people I work with, they're in my phone, in my contacts, and every now and then, you know, I'll follow them on LinkedIn, I'll yeah. follow them on Twitter, yeah. whatever. Let's say one of them is like, oh, super proud of so-and-so, my, my son, my daughter graduating, whatever. Sometime that week, hey, I saw your, your son graduated. Hey, congrats. Yeah. Send. Not congrats. By the way, any deals come, like, just become friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? Relationships. That's I mean, it. It, it's so simple. It's yes. stupid because most people overcomplicate things, right? Mm -hmm. They think the brand deal is going to come as like this nice package that's going to have like the <laughs> rate at the top yep. and like the deliverables and like we're happy. Oh, contract's going to be uh, attached to it, which you and I both know never happens, right. right? But I love that you said, don't look at it as a brand, look at it as a person, mm -hmm. many different people, right? And sometimes not always at the the actual brand itself. Sometimes it's an agency representing it or a PR right. uh, company. And this is probably one of the number one things people can do 
to literally have success with brand sponsorships is care about the people Absolutely. that they meet. Okay, you never know who that person is, what they do for the company, yep. uh, or who they know, or will they'll be one day. That's right. I'll tell you some of the best deals I've ever gotten were just someone else that worked at another company that gave me their card. I followed up, I replied back, and then afterwards, because of that relationship, I care enough about what's going on in their life yeah. that, like, when I talked to them, I was like, "Oh yeah, didn't you uh, go to Mexico or something like that?" And they they love that, right? Especially if you're an influencer, they're like, "Oh, they probably don't care about anybody." <laughs> <laughs> so it, even right. more so um, it, because you stand apart again. If there's something that they need or like they say something on social media, try to serve them. Like right. try to help them. You can do this even with very minimal followers or not really a huge influence. If you've got some kind of skill or authority or you just you know enough, you might be able to actually help them out, right? It's just like how we say you can collaborate with people even if you don't have a lot of subscribers if you bring Absolutely. something to the table. Yep. And uh, it's interesting because everything you just said uh, might not sound like the crazy like guru like this is how to get brand deals yep. in less than 30 days kind of thing because this is kind of a long-term strategy but is the way that i'd say 80 percent of our deals happen <laughs>